as a team, 10 goals in the last three games, does it feel like you've got that perfect sort of momentum and the perfect moment to go into what is such a big game to start 2023? Um, I think there's improvements we can still make. I wouldn't say we're perfect, but I think we're in a good place. We've um, continued our form pretty consistently throughout this league season and um, we aim to keep, to keep that level of performance up. From a player's point of view, does it make any difference to you that there's a, a different Rangers manager in the dugout and, and what are you expecting to be different about Rangers this time around? Um, right now, I'm not all that sure. We'll do our um, tactical breakdown later on in the week and we'll, we'll get more of an understanding there. But we like to focus more on us, no matter who the opponent is. That's been the same in the League Cup, Champions League. We think we've got um, a strong way of playing and strong beliefs here that we can uh, hurt most teams, so hopefully that's uh, no different on Monday. Hi, Greg. Um, I was just wondering, given the nine-point gap uh, that exists at the moment, um, if a win at Ibrox, do you think that would be a defining moment in the title race? January seems quite early to be saying that, so no way um, just focus purely on the next game. Um, it'll be no different regardless of the result on Monday. Um, but we more than results, as I've touched on in most press conferences, um, we try and reach a level of performance, and if we can do that in every game, it'll take care of results. Yeah, and I'm just wondering, you, you took a knock against Hibs, so just wondering how you're feeling, and... Um, going ahead, going into the game, and also that uh, Alexandro, when he came on um, for you, he, he got praise from the manager for how how he performed after he came on. Um, I was just wondering if you relish that extra sort of competition for for your place. Um, on the first part, yeah, I'm fat, feel good. Um, it was just more precaution than anything. Um, on. The competition, of course, there's always going to be competition at Celtic. It's a massive, massive club. Alejandro's a top player as well. So, um, yeah, no different to uh, at my position, to all the positions were strong throughout, and that's why we've been so consistent when we've uh, had so many games. Greg, you've, you've played in a few of these games now. Is it is that experience help? What have you kind of learned over the years of, of you know, going into this game? Um, it'll probably be pretty hectic to start. That's um, normally how they do until the game settles. Um, but also we um, just need to focus on us and try and play our football from the first, first minute. And um, if we can do that, then it normally stands us in good stead. Yeah, has that been a real key to your, your strength um, over the past 18 months that you do have a, a kind of way of playing that you, you, you focus on no matter who you're playing it really? You try and dominate the game, try and impose yourself. Does that help when you go into a game like this when there's a lot of hype and talk about it? Definitely. I think when you've got a clear way of playing and clear positions and clear roles to fulfil, it definitely helps because you know when I get the ball, for example, where the next person should be and um, it's almost like clockwork and the only time that we come undone is when we don't quite fulfil them roles. So if we can continue to do that, then I'm sure that it'll bring us um, the level of performance that we need. Greg, you've got a, a derby goal already at Hamden. What would a goal at Ibrox and a win there as well mean for you? I don't think it's about personal um, things like that, getting the goals, etc. Um, you'd much rather develop, sorry, stumble on my words there. Uh, you'd much rather deliver a um, strong performance and hopefully that gives us a strong result. Um, whether who scores the goals, it doesn't really uh, matter to us. We just want to get that uh, one. And we've seen a lot in the last calendar year in the way of players making their, their old firm debuts with all the new guys coming in last January. And since then, how important is the influence of players like yourself and Callum McGregor, who have been here for a number of years now and, and played in many of these games and helping these new guys assimilate so quickly for these big matches? Yeah, I think Callum's uh, so calm in the big moments, no matter what game it is. So um, he definitely brings that presence on the pitch and helps all of us on there. So um, hopefully he can uh, bring that again on Monday. Greg, with so much competition for places all over the pitch, um, what have the levels in training been like ahead of a game like this? Yeah, well, we were off yesterday, but um, we'll train today and tomorrow and be ready for Monday. The the training's of a pretty high standard every day, regardless of the game. As you touched on, the squad is so strong and the manager uh, has put in a philosophy here that even if you're not playing 
you're uh, pushing the boys who are so there's uh, everyone's so eager to play and everyone's so eager to impress so yeah training's been of a very high standard throughout the season and can the team individually and as a group take confidence um from the result at ibrooks in april where, where he's responded so well going behind and want to win the game definitely and um, these experiences and having them moments in the big games definitely help you um when times are tough and there will be moments in the game where that'll be the case that you uh, can look back on or remember these moments where uh, you've you've got through them. So uh, definitely, I think that helps for uh, all the big games that we play on.